Hiya guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty Loves LV. Here tonight I have the drunken purchase to show you. Um, I'm just gonna laugh at this, but I actually ended up quite liking it. Just before we start, a wonderful subscriber of mine, Jason, hello my love, asked if I could display the bags that are always behind me in their dust bags, and I was like, yeah, why don't I do that? So um, these are the front ones only because uh, I have a whole handbag collection video and guys, nothing has really changed. Um, because a lot of them are <laughs> counterfeit. Um, I can't sell them, so uh, it's one of those situations where if a friend w likes one or wants one, I'll usually give it to them or something like that. So anything new, I always reveal on this channel. And uh, I, these are just uh, not even like signature ones, just ones that just, they look pretty in the dust bag. So I have my, oh, my tried and tested, love it. Oh, you can't even see it. So my guest Vicky tote up there in the graffiti, one of my first loves I got in the backpack, I love the backpack still. The Kate Spade, the Tom and Jerry collection, it was the year of the rat. Um, I am the year of the rat, I am July 84, uh, so love that bag and I got a good discount on it. This is one I had to find from eBay, an old graffiti style uh, guest um, crossbody bag. Very, very small, not ideal for work, but I love that bag, it's very, very hard to get. Pink black and white. Love it. Uh, this is my uh, AliExpress purchase back in the day. This was the uh, Mini Springs, Mini Springs, <laughs> Palm Springs Mini, um, that I thought, oh my god, it looks identical. And then when I did like close-up shots that the pocket actually should be right out to here and right down to the bottom. So that's why it's, this got this poofy bit. But um, yeah, I got bored, bored with it, like the way that it looked. So I went to, if you guys are in the UK, I don't know if you guys have this. Um, it's called The Works. Um, if anyone of my age group will remember uh, Bargain Books, that's what Bargain Books used to be. And I got, uh, they had letters, little sticker letters for, you know, every letter of the alphabet. Of course, I got K. And then I got some hard stickers and I've got one here and I've got one on the side. And it was actually because... Uh, when it arrived, some of the monogram, because it isn't real, um, uh, rubbed off or was off when I got it. I didn't pay that much for it. So I just used a wee sticker on the side to cover it off. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but I think it looks nice and it's unique. Uh, this is my real uh, Speedy 20 in the, uh, I was going to say in the bandolier, I wish. No, this is the classic one. It's probably about 20 years old. The canvas is unreal how thick it is. I bought a leather strap. There's a video on this. I'm not going to bore you about it, but I bought a leather strap to put in the handles because I need to wear crossbody. Um, if you guys know for work, I need crossbody bags. And then I just bought a little leather. Um, this is from Parker & Co. Again, that was in my uh, video. I showed this and you were able to put your initials on it and a heart beside it. So I don't know if you guys are going to see that, but it is on a video. So I love this. And then I have my last ever eye offer bag. Do you remember I offer, guys? Jeez, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole now. But anyway, um, <laughs> I offer was the thing after AliExpress and before DHgate. And I got the Pichette Matisse in the Infra Rouge. Uh, you guys, there's a video on this. Again, I don't want to bore you, but the red is so bad. It is so, it's nearly like brown. It's that, um, it's not bright at all. So it's really obvious that it's not real. And I remember I wore this into the real Louis Vuitton store in Venice. And my boyfriend at the time was telling me, Everyone's staring at you because they knew it was fake. <laughs> so it's supposed to be red, but it's obviously does not look good. But I love this bag. Like everything else is perfect. The like alignment of the logos and I think I spent about 100, 120 pounds on this. And I do still dig it out now and then, but it is really embarrassing because it does not look anything like the real Info Rouge. And unless I win the lottery, I will never have the Info Rouge Pouchette Matisse in my collection which is really sad. Uh, I love this bag I just don't really have a chance to wear it because it's so tiny this is a Love Machino Dripping Heart logo bag it was really hard to get and I found it in TK Maxx in Lisburn years ago when I used to live there again there's probably a video on that one of my favorite Michael Kors bags and I hardly ever use it because it is so pretty and I don't want anything to happen to it and it is in the iridescent metal with all the uh trim all the neon rainbow trim oh my god it's so gorgeous when i say it and that's real leather oh my god still smells amazing i think i ruined the strap on this i think i tried to take a mark off and then i ended up taking yeah there was like a scratch on this and then i took like 
oh god what did I use like silver polisher or something and I took off and well like do you know what now it's like at the time I was like I've ruined a 400 quid bag I think it was like 384 hundred quid at the time that was the most expensive but there was a scrape here this bag was real if you can see that oh we're there right you see that that streak so that was there before I, I bought it but I'd returned this bag twice before because of things I'd noticed and it was just one of those bags because of the metal they hadn't really protected the metal and um uh the two times I had returned it I had seen it on this or I'd seen it on something else it was a very this was the Manhattan I'll never forget the name of it because it was such a pain to get um but uh, when I saw that it was like just too late and I couldn't be bothered so but I have used it a couple of times so it is quite small but I do I love that bag and then on the front here is a Kate Spade bag with the heart and there is my friend I, I've never used this but my friend used it she took it to a wedding and she's got another wedding coming up and I said if you need any bags you know where to find me so yeah it was really small but I wanted to get it because at the time there was a great sale on the year of the rat thing with the Tom and Jerry and you can intersperse it with this cover. But I didn't real realize at the time how small that bag was. And it's tiny, tiny as you can see. So yes, there are so many bags in the bag, but guys, I've done how my collection videos before. The ones that are up on YouTube are basically everything I did shelf by shelf before, and it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. The problem with my handbag addiction is I don't sell any. Um, I could sell some, but I um, don't want to. <laughs> And uh, I like all the little like dupes and replicas or whatever I've got. So there are, I think there are five handbag collection videos. I do it shelf by shelf and nothing has changed apart from anything I've bought. I've shown you guys. So there we go. But that is quite nice yes, to actually see them. And I love this. Like it's so annoying that like back in the day I did used to like downsize and take these smaller bags to work. And now I just really can't be arsed. I just love the big totes. Speaking of which, finally moved out of my guess into this beautiful DHgate purchase. Uh, I was in Boots today and the shop assistant actually wrote down on her hand DHgate when I told her where I bought this. She loved it so much. So I thought that really cheered me up because today was a stressful day in work. There was a lot going on. Um, yeah, I was a bit worried when I started using this. If you can see, it pulls at the material on the inside. I don't know if that's the real deal and I thought oh god the first day that I wore this I think it was last week and I was walking to the bus and I thought oh these straps are going to give this is what you get it's not obviously the real deal um beautifully lined like this beautiful like velvet suede, suede sorry suede I was, <laughs> suede not velvet and I thought oh that's I'm gonna have to carry these by the uh by the handheld uh handles here because um these straps are going to go. That was a week ago. And then I stopped panicking because I was like, this is actually holding and it holds my stuff. It holds everything that I'm not going to bore you with what's in my bag because it's basically the exact same that was in my guest bag from my last video, including the little pochette. I love her now. I love eating my words. Love her. And she comes with me and everything else is exactly the same, guys. Um, It's it's great i love it and i just did worry when i saw that i was like oh my god it's pulling not the inside lining but then when you look at it from the side i think that's how it's meant to be like i can't tell like but i'm guessing like where else would they attach it on the on the go even though this isn't a real on the go but you know what i mean so i love it i love it and i love this little guy here like so cute so yeah love it been using it this week oh and i have also been using and i was a bit wary for a few days because it's smooth leather, I have actually moved out of my long shop coin purse. Yes, well done, Kate. And I moved into the MCM Aran wallet. And I did, I guys, I did like, I even looked up after I posted that last video and I was like, I need to find it for the guys who watch my channel. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I can't believe that when something leaves the MCM site, it seems to just, whoa, disappear. On the Singapore website, not only was it still available, but it was like so much cheaper than what we get here. That was a bit annoying because I did a currency converter thing. And unfortunately you can't, you have to stick to the region of the website that where you got it. So that's annoying, but love this guy. And I've been using it this week, got my cards in it. I have some coins 
and I have notes for the first time ever and I have coins and notes because uh, my <laughs> lovely boss asked if I when I was going out and lunch if I could get her some things from the local shop and she gave me the money and I got the change and put it on my card so that's why I have that uh right guys whoo 10 minutes in didn't mean to do this but um yes so the drunken purchase right let me tell you a tale so yes um I was torn between this and the MCM wallet oh sorry my wee cat's trying to scratch again one wee second guys Hi guys, sorry about that. Um, Missy hears my voice and just wants to come in and, and wants to know what the crack is. But you can't come into this room, this cat claws in this room. Eh -eh, not going to help. Not going to work. Um, so I think she just wanted fed again. Jeez, that cat never stops eating. Anyway, digressing kid, digressing. Right. So it was torn between the wallet that I got and then this. And I was like, right, I'm going to get more use out of the wallet. Um, this is a Louis Vuitton purchase. I know. Um, and I said in maybe four or five videos ago that I was happy with where is she still hasn't been used again. Bad. This has got to stop. If you're going to buy stuff, Kate, you've got to use it and you've got to embrace if something happens to it. So, yes. I have still, I think it was April. I found the receipt actually the other day. Oh, and by the way, I rewatched my video and it wasn't until the video that I noticed this. In my last one so that is definitely a return the dust bag is torn like they really did not give a shit when they did this purchase but thank god like the purchase is okay so if you guys remember this and i was like i've got to use it i'm going to use it i'm going to use it as a catch-all in my bigger bags because i do use totes now and it's still like the only thing i do is i open the box to make sure it can breathe um Oh, God, still annoys me how badly this came packaged. And do you remember the ribbon I had to tie myself? Bastards! Anyway, sorry. Um, so I was like, right, I've got a Vivian in my collection. I'm happy with it and I don't need anything else. And then I had a few drinks uh, in the house with a friend um, oh, three, four, no, four weeks ago, a month ago. And I was like, I'm just going to buy this. I really want it. And it's going to be sold out really soon. It's not sold out. It's not sold out. Why is it not sold out? Because it's so expensive for what it bloody is. And um, I don't regret it. I don't because it is actually gorgeous. And for Louis Vuitton's prices at this point, nothing shocks me anymore. And it's something that is just within my price range. But did I need it? No, absolutely not. Uh, was it something that uh, I, yeah, did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yes. Uh, so, and this was like, you know, the next day, and I, I, I wasn't drunk, drunk, like, you know, just a wee bit tipsy and merry and going, oh, I'm just going to buy this and then going, ah, what did I do the next day? Like the same month I bought that, like, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, I was like, right, this is stupid. Um, it didn't have high hopes. And... UPS only deliver I just found this out so guys if you're in the UK I don't know if it's the same for the US but um thank god I work from home on a Friday because the first delivery attempt was rejected because I wasn't home uh I didn't know what day I was going to arrive but I just thought it was going to be like the lovely royal meal uh delivery woman who just leaves my stuff in a safe place at the back uh, no, they needed not only your signature, but they needed ID. And the guy actually said, because I rescheduled it then to the following Friday. And he said, oh, sorry, love, I was here last week. Um, but you were at work or you weren't here. And um, he says, because it's Louis Vuitton. It, and I was like, oh, you actually know it's Louis Vuitton. And it was really funny to hear like a middle-aged man going, because it's Louis Vuitton, love. I was like, you know it's Louis Vuitton. They need a signature. And, I, and he was so lovely. Oh my God, he was so lovely. So I ran upstairs, got my passport, brought it down. And I was like, oh my God, right. They really are taking things seriously to make sure that the person who has bought it has received it. And do you know what? To be fair, they're expensive purchases. So I understand. But it was funny. Like, because it's Louis Vuitton love. I was like, okay. So let me just show you. I opened this without you guys I do apologize I was uh, working I waited for my lunch break 
and opened it nearly with shaking hands because I was like oh my god that last one was so bad I swore I did say I was not going to buy from the website again blame the alcohol I am so sorry um and I would not ever buy anything that was out of my range it doesn't matter how much alcohol I had I wasn't going to buy something that was like a thousand two thousand pound um this was still expensive don't get me wrong this was 285 but to be fair to Louis Vuitton this is actually kind of not bad for how bad they are now with how, like in not bad in their world if you know what I mean so yes it's always tiny guys I'm never gonna have a real bag unless it's something vintage like my lovely little workhorse here my speedy 20 um not gonna bore you receipts boring again ask for a shopping bag I'm like yeah just give me everything because like you guys are rip-off merchants so um yeah, I don't know. I always love using the designer bags if I get one to like trick my friends at Christmas and birthdays and stuff. I think it's really funny that they think I've bought them something really good. Like, is that cruel? Anyway. <laughs> so yes, this one did come like this. I was very impressed. I was like, ah, oh, the ribbon's tied. Okay, that's good. So, uh, and I always learn just to slide it off if you don't want to ruin the lovely presentation. And it means you can just slip it back on again. And teeny tiny, here we go. So I think I got, I think I told you guys before I revealed this that I was contemplating getting this, but I got it in the Vivian collection, which makes it even better because I wasn't too excited about the OG. But the OG was 240 and this version is 285. And I think for an extra 45 pounds, it's actually okay by Louis Vuitton standards, not by anybody else's because it's still absolutely ridiculous how much this costs but for what you get for the extra 45 pound I think it's quite good so teeny tiny little dust bag to reveal this won't be a surprise to any of you ah! so this is the Vivian collection 2023 and this is the key pouch and there are two of these there is um Vivian on, I'll put a picture up here uh, while I'm talking here uh, on uh, a beach and then there is uh, Vivian in the um, I was gonna say in the mountains well the, in the mountains skiing so there is Vivian there is Petula and there is oh my god is his name is his name Gaston might be Gaston and uh, the back is actually uh, just exactly like the original uh, so yes yeah, so the original just looking like this both sides 240 and then this one with all this lovely detail which I think is so cute I hate this camera oh my god I'm actually maybe even contemplating using my work camera to do videos because the phone I get in work is much better than this so um this is really really cute and like so if I hang on just very very quickly before I show you before I forget oh my god it's like a sea of boxes Oh my god, I hate this dust bag. I cannot believe that Louis Vuitton did that. I'm sorry. Kate, let it go. Let it go, love. Let it go. <laughs> so here is the um, 2022. And then this is the 2023 collection. So yeah, Vivian looks exactly the same. Yes, it is Gaston. But Gaston's in a little... Oh, I didn't even notice this before. He's in a little beanie hat. And the beanie hat... The wee logos, you're never going to see that in month of Sundays, but the wee logos, the band on his hat is like in Farouge. That's so cute. So, yes. I know. I did slag this off at the time. Sorry, that's it. No, no. Slagged it off. I, I put it down because I was like, how much, you know, leather you get for something like this for an extra, not even an extra hundred pound more. I don't know what the prices of the key pouches were back last year. They were all out of stock. This is why it's crazy. I don't I will check after this video, but I was expecting this one to be sold out first. It was actually the beach one that was sold out. And then I checked the next day and this one was still available. So the I did my there's the tiniest, tiniest, just like oh my god, you're never gonna see that. There's a tiny extra little bit of thread there. That's the only difference. I checked. All the stitching is fine. It all matches up. I did do this. I just wanted to check because I've heard so many, especially with the key pouches. A lot of people on YouTube 
uh, not just like the not not the Vivian, but just the key pouches in general are very very disappointed in how they receive it. Um, I would prefer why can't they just take a little bit of cellophane or something and cover the hardware? I don't get it, and it's the same. In there is a little textile card, the new textile cards. I actually got one this time because I didn't with the last one. Um, there we go, and again the key ring, no protection around it you know like no plastic or anything like that it just it just annoy it's just for the money you're paying like Louis Vuitton I know you don't care because we are not your target audience the working man but you know what I mean <laughs> so inside is beautiful it's this gorgeous gorgeous pink canvas and it says I think it's made in France it is Louis Vuitton Paris made in France like I'm pretending like I didn't know that already but I kind of forgot because this one the pencil case was made in Spain so yeah and it's a lot bigger i have the replica one that i bought from aliexpress and yeah really like when you put replica against real like just you can see how much better this is um yeah like the zipper now i'm looking at it in the cold light of day yeah like it should have been protected like that's going to scratch so easily i can already see like it's not smooth metal like now I'm not taking anything to it this time, I'm not shining it up, I'm not doing anything like that, but that has obviously been thrown around in transit and has been scratched a good deal against the metal on the zipper. Um, but maybe it kind of looks like that because the zip even looks like that. It's not smooth metal. I don't know, but I think it's gorgeous. It's so cute. Now what the hell I'm going to do with this, I don't know. I am currently carless since July. My lovely wee car dolly died she was 16 to be fair going on 17. isn't that a song i am 16 going on 17. yeah and um yeah to get whatever needed to be repaired was going to cost 500 pounds and um yeah so i just took the scrappage value got it scrapped and my word i have enjoyed not having a car <laughs> i have lost so much weight not like so much but like i lost that being so unbelievably lazy um i didn't really drive it to be fair like i get the bus to work anyway so that wasn't any change and then um anything like that i did go in the car for like going to maybe b m or abbey center down the road um i can just and it was always stuff for missy so i can just get that delivered from like ebay or pets at home or whatever so i really don't miss it and i did get really stressed behind the car so i am just taking my time i'll save some money maybe next year look for the car but i'm actually enjoying not having the car i'm enjoying uh not having to pay for petrol <sighs> definitely and all the maintenance issues in my last car was insane and the insurance and road tax and all that sort of thing so yeah I, I i bought this going right okay you don't have the car anymore and you know what this is too pretty for my car keys even if i like because that thing got thrown around it's like hanging from the steering wheels banging blah blah, blah. i didn't care with the replica one because the replica one cost like 11 pounds <laughs> this one was yes this guy it is crazy guys it's 285 don't come for me don't come for me because i know my tagline is lux lover on a budget but this was a drunken purchase i know i just I just went a bit cray cray but this was something I always wanted there was always something in me that always wondered what the big thing about the key pouch was and I'm like why do you do this Kate because you haven't used your pencil case in the Vivian either and it's just because the screen print I'm like oh my god what if anything happens to it because it's so pretty but I will take one day and just go just use it and enjoy it and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet I was going to think because it's you know it's real it would feel real to put on it would feel bad to put it on a replica bag so I'm thinking could I take this off and use it as a bag charm maybe um pardon me sorry could I use it um for uh, I wouldn't want to would I use would I use it inside a bag because then it's going to screw see this is the thing what if I'm worried about that then why did I buy, buy the pencil case because the pencil case obviously is going to have to go inside a bag you know like something you know I, and I know like the MCM wallet I was so worried about that when I started using it last week I was like oh my god is it hitting anything because it's smooth leather blah blah 
and then you give it a few days and then you actually just enjoy it and you don't care um but we're talking about louis vuitton here guys and you know they're not known for being great with their quality control these days but as i said it was a drunken purchase um sorry i hate saying drunken purchase a tipsy purchase for something i'd already been looking at and really wanted and couldn't believe my luck it was still in stock but i think i know why it's still in stock because people are like 285 pounds for a key pouch go away because they're doing the same with the mini pochettes now no one bought them last year well very few people did because it was 575 pounds i watched my old video the other day for these prices by the way um because people are not going to pay that uh so yes i was stupid uh not needed not necessary how long it's going to stay in the box and um oh actually keep it open keep it open and let it breathe um i will come up with something and uh there i am like that guys that i will leave something for a while and then i will use it and i'll come back to you and go what was i worried about blah blah, blah. but it is louis vuitton at the end of the day and their quality controls isn't great these days but i am happy to say that my beautiful mcm i'm looking at it now in the light um i have hit it unexpectedly a few times can't help it your nails will just hit it or something in your bag will and even though it's smooth not leather it has been all all right so far this week and any fingerprints there is just because it's cold and that's my fingerprints so but i love this guy and i love smell oh so good so good so yes guys right 26 minutes come on kate stop it so I did say I'll come back. I was going to do the reveal separate from showing you the bag. But I just, oh my god. I just had to show this. I love it. It's so cool. I love Replica Unreal. If you don't like it, guys, I'm sorry. This isn't the channel for you. But people who watch my channel will appreciate that I can sometimes, now and then, treat myself to the real thing. Um, But it will always be an SLG. It'll always be something under 300. Um, Any bags, like I said, my limit is always 500 maybe 550 if i was really really into it and then anything else i'm just going to be yeah i want the replica or i want something that kind of reminds me of it and sorry that's just i'm you know senior administration person and that's my level of wealth <laughs> so you know i am not going to be the person who comes every week with two thousand dollar purchases and listen i've got no problem with the people who can do that because i do follow channels of said type youtubers and they are the loveliest loveliest people i'm just saying that i don't have those resources but i love watching them and i'm so jealous of what they reveal but i'm so happy for them because they can do it they work and they obviously have really ha much high levels like i find my job stressful at times but you know they are really working their asses off for their purchases and more power to them i love watching them but I am Lux Lover on a budget and that is my kind of demographic. And that's why you guys who watch me and leave me lovely comments appreciate that I mix a bit of both. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but then move on to the next channel. Sorry. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching 28 minutes. I'm so sorry, but at least I got two in there. I got the bag reveal and I got that. So yes, uh, unnecessary purchase stupid way too much money what am i going to do with it all that but it is pretty and i like pretty things so <laughs> but no more louis vuitton like even slgs like their prices are insane it's crazy but it is very very pretty but definitely that i would never have done that of sober mind and sober body but i wasn't that day so okay guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you have comments or questions please drop them down below i'll be happy to speak to you and i don't know what i'm gonna come back with you on the next one i'm just so glad i've moved into another bag now um there is something like a very very tiny thing i saw on dhgate it looks a bit like the original but i wasn't really into the original but it's just got really pretty colors so i'm thinking about that i'm not too sure but it's only about 30 pounds it's not that interesting and by the time it arrives it'll probably be three months from now so but um yes uh i do have to go through all of these shelves and definitely definitely take the
things out that I know I'm never ever ever going to wear again but there are just so many bags that I just find really hard like I do part with bags that I really know that I'm not going to wear again and I give them to friends like free of charge like I've got a few House of Hollands there's one in the corner there but I keep in that because I love the colour combo one I really really love the colour combo but it was just too small I knew I would never use it and I just gave it to a friend because it's like 17 quid I was like here called an early birthday present or called an early Christmas present something like that I'll just give bags away to people and if it's a bit more expensive you know some friends have like said oh you know if it, if it's a micro core it's like 150 or whatever and I'll say I'll give a 60 or something like that you know I just don't care like you know and I'd rather someone use it so I've got to go through and see if there's anything that I would sell that I really do like I'm not going to sell you guys fakes or else because that's stupid um but like if there is anything I will definitely have a look and it's a day I've got to set aside and really clear this out because this is and you know what's really annoying because I've got so many I wanted to buy another one of these and you can't buy these slatted ones anymore from Argus it's just like a like a proper wardrobe so the other spare room is just full like the floor is just full of dust bags and bags on it so it looks really untidy so i really need to sort that out but that is a mission for another day so okay guys thank you so much for watching tonight i really appreciate it uh any comments or questions like i said drop them down below and i'll speak to you then so guys uh i don't know what i'm going to come back with probably We'll do the work I've got to do here and come back to you then and let you know if there's anything I am ready to give away. Maybe do a competition, something like that. I'm not too sure. I'll have a think about it. So, guys, thank you again for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hi you guys, post video here just to give you an update that the Elizabeth pencil pouch this year, which is in the same style as the key pouch, is five pounds more than what I paid for my Paris one last year that's fine five pounds however a thing to note is the back of the pencil case is no longer leather it's canvas just saying five pounds more and now there is a third less uh, leather than there was before so just saying be wary um the pencil oh, sorry the key pouch in the beach design is still sold out, guys. I don't know why. I think that the mountain uh, version that I have is actually a lot nicer and is... So, sorry, frizzy bit in the back there. Um, the mountain version is, I think, a lot prettier and it's still available, guys. I don't understand. I don't understand. They have a nano speedy now for the first time. I think I've, I've never seen a nano speedy in the Vivian before. And it is £1,470, guys. And I think the Kirigami is £625. Uh, I'll put links to everything below. But just to give you guys an update, I was going to type this all in, but it's easy just to give a post-video update. So uh, thanks, guys, just before I go. If you haven't seen her in a while. Missy, you going to say hello? Yeah. Ah, there you go. She's ready for bed. As am I. So guys, thank you very much for watching tonight and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah. Love you all. Bye. Hi guys, just to add on yet again to the video I did, I can't believe that this one really um, took a long time for me to kind of go through, edit, have time to do that and actually get this up. So uh, instead of putting all text over the video, uh, I bought that key pouch on the 29th of October and I got it on the 7th of November or the week after, I can't, can't remember which. So that is why, one, there's no Christmas packaging. I just googled the Christmas packaging and it has broken my heart because it looks so pretty. Um, and also, coming into Christmas, of course, we're now in December. It's the 8th of December today and, um, of course, looked it up and I was going to share the link with you guys. I, sh I still will, of course. But, of course, it's not available now because it's coming up to Christmas. So, there is a notify me when available link. Um, but I did buy it even before the Christmas packaging and even Christmas was coming up. I think Halloween had literally just happened. So, unfortunately, both key pouches now are unavailable. I'm not too sure about the other items, but I just looked it up to obviously put the link and share it with you. But then I thought I did film this quite a while ago and... Um, Sorry, I did receive the item quite a while ago, and that's why uh, it's not available anymore. Uh, but even at the time, 
like usually when they're released they do sell out very quickly wasn't the case and I think for two weeks after I had uh, received my item that key pouch was still available but of course coming into Christmas and the people who are buying gifts for everyone and especially the SLGs in the Vivian Christmas edition or holiday edition they're going to be out of stock around this time so apologies guys I was going to redo the video and put the text up but it's just easier to explain it this way so thanks very much guys for watching i'll speak to you soon take care and have a great weekend Mwah. bye